Men, tell me about it. Do you have any idea what it's like to live with your mother-in-law, thinking that everything you do, making comments about your lifestyle? I've had it for over a year now, and it's been a living nightmare. I don't think I'm ever going to get my own house. What are you going to do about it? I don't know. Hey, hey, what are you doing with my manuscript? It was on the desk. Yeah, well, it's not ready to be seen by anyone. It's not ready to be seen by anyone. You shouldn't leave it lying around. This is you? my office. Well, can we get to the point here? Whatever. Fine. All right. Fine. If I write you this check, mm -hmm. then you give us the photos and you stay out of our lives forever. Is that the deal? That's the deal. That's your first effort, is it? What? The manuscript. It's the first draft, right? Yes, so? No, no. I tried writing once too. It didn't work for me either. I mean, I think it's just a gift. You either have it or you don't. I mean, it must be hard for you though, especially living up to a reputation like your brother's. I read your last novel, by the way. Really good stuff. My favorite part was when the. Yeah, game. you know, that's it. And what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm not giving this twat a single penny of my money. He has the photos. So, let him show the photos. Yeah. No, you know what? I give up, okay? I just can't do it anymore. If that's what you're going to do, then just do it, mate. Alright, fine, whatever. What? Get out of my way. Let's just discuss this. There's nothing to discuss. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh. Jesus Christ! What are you doing? Help me! Sorry, don't have to be hand here. Because, uh, well, you know how it is. 
Uh, anyway, we went to some party one night at a local hall and there was this guy flirting around with her. And I noticed that she was flirting back, so I asked her to come outside. I wanted to talk with her. So we went outside and let me tell you, she never disrespected me again. What I need to shit. <laughs> 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 This guy here is trying to blackmail us, which, given the current circumstances today, I think is a pretty bloody poor taste. Blackmail you over what? That's not important. What do you mean, not important? Look, it's personal, okay? Uh, has this got anything to do with the orange peel? <sighs> what are you going to do? <laughs> yes, Robert, what are we going to do? I don't know. You don't know? Don't shout at me, Daniel. It's just dealing with a very tricky situation. I mean, but what are we gonna do? We can't just leave him here forever. How long do you think the paracetamol is gonna last? Paracetamol? <laughs> yeah, I'm on fire. Get him here so I can calm down. Oh! Shit! <laughs> so, the thing is, it's not actually paracetamol. <laughs> It's a hallucinogenic concoction. Sabrina took one of these by mistake and that's why she's been acting like she's off her head. Jesus, Trish, what are you doing with this stuff? Uh, they're for a friend. Wait, hang on. You're telling me that Martha's girlfriend who knocked over our father's coffee and was one of these things. Oh, and you gave him how many? Maybe five. Oh. Well, you can't blame for this. <laughs> what should we do? Should we call an ambulance? No, you can't do that, I'll be screwed. <clears throat> She's right. The ambulance is going to get here and we'll find that he's been a bit hard with drugs. It's not going to look good. Right, so, is he going to die? Nah, she doesn't think so. <clears throat> Daniel, Robin, I know you're in there. Uh, I'll be a minute, Mum. Uh, the Rebel would like to speak with you. Uh, oh. Did you, did you just stay here and look after him? Look after him? Why do we have to work when? Just lock the door behind us, make sure no one gets in. Hi, Mum. How you Everyone's wondering where you are. The Rebel would like to speak with you. Yes, well, no wonder I would be out of his new service soon. Or at least first of the day is over. That's great. Do you mind if you just give us five more minutes? Yes. Excellent, thank you. So, got any ideas? Yeah, I've got an idea. Why don't you just pay him the bloody money? Now, hang on a second. Don't you dare make this out to be my fault. If you had any money rather than spending it on shit, then maybe you could have paid him. If I had the money, then I would have. Yeah, like you're so worried about your parents anyway. What the hell is that supposed to mean? I'll tell you what's supposed to mean. You weren't worried about me leaving me here to look after them. Well, you went off gallivanting with your celebrity friends in New York. You're just, you're just so jealous, aren't you? You're burning with jealousy because I got out there and did what you should have done with your life. If only you had the balls for it. Don't be ridiculous. Look at you. 